Hello everyone, welcome to the Car Spectrum, Brandon here, and today we have a treat. We have a 2002 WS6 with 13,000 miles. Um, my good friend Steve here is letting us film it, do a review of it. Um, he's gonna actually going to be talking most of this video. I have to say this car is immaculate, 13,000 original miles. Um, Steve's going to get a little bit more into it, but this has been one of my dream cars since I've been a kid. Um, probably actually my favorite car of all time. So without further ado, I'm going to cut over to Steve and let him do uh, do his talking. And we're back with Steve here. He's the original owner of this 2002 WS6. And Steve, just let it go. What do you got to tell us about it? Okay, this is, uh, this is uh, like Brandon said, my uh, 2002 WS6. Um, ordered in March of 2002. Took delivery actually on my mom's birthday in May of 2002. So uh, I worked with uh, King O'Rourke um, Pontiac, they're now Cadillac, to, uh, to build a car that was probably as low in numbers as I could get. Uh, so you're going to see some things in here that you, you probably don't know about. So just uh, as a first as a first go, it's uh, it's the all stone stock LS1. Uh, again. I don't, I don't armor all things and stuff like that. This is all just as you see it. The car's never been in the rain, uh, so it's all completely stock. So walking, walking around, uh, some of the other things uh, I've done. Uh, this was an add-on. Uh, Steve Sessions, uh, Eastern Coach Restorations, uh, did this custom Torno cover for me. We got the parts. He put it together. And uh, and hit the paint job spot on. Uh, you cannot tell this was did not come with the car. So going into the interior, now this is where the haters are going to chime in. The automatic. Again, by design, uh, I got the automatic uh, because all of the six speeds um, all came with a 340 uh, rear end. This uh, automatic comes stock with a 256 rear end little known option was the 323 limited slip so that's what i ordered and this car has the 323 limited slip with an automatic the interior is uh what they called camel there were three options graphite top and camel graphite having seared myself to seats in my 68 that was black i was not getting black the top had everything a light brown it really was i didn't appeal to me but nobody really knew what the camel was. And it took uh, Ron Daw at um, King O'Rourke a while to find a model with the camel interior. And when he took pictures and I saw all the graphite accents with the camel interior, I knew I had to have this. So it, it's, uh, it's kind of unique and it took him a while to figure out what camel interior really was. So I thought that the brown with the graphite accents uh, really made the, the whole inside of the car pop. All right, guys, and now we're back with Steve here in his 2002 WS6. And one thing we wanted to bring up really quick is look at these tires. There's something crazy about these tires. So by the DOT stamp, this was this tire was built the 15th week of 02. So all of these tires are all original. Uh, the car is inside its whole life, so you don't see any dry rot or anything like that. So these, these are 21-year-old tires. Uh, I've rotated them once. Um, coming back here, this is inside, and these are the original Torno covers for the convertible top. So when this big cover isn't on, these are all the pieces that go and cover up the convertible top, all in their original wrapper. These are awesome right here, the honeycomb lights. One of my favorite things on the Trans Am. You guys that have watched the channel since day one, you know I'm a big Camaro guy. Uh, but I gotta tell you, when the 4th Gens came around, the 4th Gen Trans Am just blows away the Camaro in every aspect, look wise, it's not even close. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, the WS6 is my dream car. It's been my dream car since I've been a little kid. So, um, you know, Steve letting us sit here today and take, take the video of this. You know, I've been asking him for months to do this. And uh, finally, our schedules are lined up, and um, my heart's melting right now. This is this is beautiful. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do, we'll have Steve start up the car, so you can just hear how that that uh, V8 rolls from uh, that V8 sound from uh, the early 2000s. So we'll start it up right now. 
Look at that. <laughs> the LS1, man. You can tell what that sound is. It started right up, no problems. No problems at all. All right, guys. We're going to cut the clip here, and we have one more thing to show you that I think is the most impressive part of this whole car. All right, so we'll be right back. And guys, we're back with the last thing I wanted to show you, which is this. Steve here has every piece of document from this car, all the way from the original bill of sale on the car. The car was originally listed $35,685 as a custom build. Here's the select codes from his build. Photos when he got the car in 2002. This tells you how many of each one was built. This is just an insurance discount thing original bill of sale over there and that's it Steve how many of these were produced with this color and this whole package total so, going through what was published back in 2005 they started going through production numbers on the 2002 Firebird and they went through all of the different combinations the rarest being a white car with a white top I think there's only eight of those um, but as I went through with the, the combination of the interior, WS6, automatic, 323, and a couple of things. This, I came up with about one of 135 of these were made. That's crazy. So at, at the, uh, the dealer I had the, the low jack put in, I guess, you know, that still works these days. All right. The original, this is my original brochure when I was looking at the car. So my sales guy, uh, Ron Daw from King O'Rourke, uh, put the car together with me. This is his thank you letter after I bought the car. But this is the, the brochure I, I kind of marked up uh, with what I wanted. The window sticker. Uh, and then the uh, really neat thing is the original build sheet that is San Therese, Canada. So this is uh, for this car, every single option that was put in into this car. Anybody remember a handwritten bill of sale? So this this was my original bill of sale uh, that lists the 323 uh, rear end uh, with also and this is the certificate of, of the odometer when I when I picked the the car up in uh, May of 2002. Does that say 15 miles when you picked it up? 15 miles. 15 miles. And what do you add again? 13,000 on uh, the dot. 13,400 on it right now. 13,400. All right, guys. With that said, thank you so much, Steve, for having us today. We'll do one more walk around the car. Guys, this is one of the most beautiful 4th Gen Trans Ams WX6s I have seen here. All right. With that said, everyone, this is Brandon from Car Spectrum. Thanks again for Steve for letting us come out and take a film of the, his car. Um, if you guys like the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more coming for you. Have a great day, everyone.